It seems like everybody wants to take a trip in space. Personally, I'm not sure to fancy it. You see, I do like to know my way around. And in space, there's no up or down, no north and south. And I can't tell my asteroids from my elbow. You're listening to Ricky Hawthorne, scared and disorientated on Two Point Radio. Students are reminded to figure it out themselves. for groundskeeping. Thank you. Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. Today I balance two hats jauntily on my one singular head. My regular disc jockeying hat is joined by my occasional chef hat. Yes, I'll be taking you all over Two Point County as I recount my latest culinary travels when I set out to find the finest foods our great county has to offer. Just a hungry man and his hatchback. It's a tale as old as time.
should be checked in and then removed immediately. world is a lot like the real world. There are places, there are smells, there's a chance you'll get lost. After a series of wrong turns, now 60 miles off course, I was treated to the first food of my trip. A wandering puffed pastry and something I believe to be meat. The buttery sausage style matter mingled playfully with hints of pine from my air freshener. It was unexpected. It was dangerous. It was cold in the middle. Thank you. 
that are required for groundskeeping. Thank you. are reminded to bounce back from heart-wrenching disappointment. If you ask me, Hogsport boasts the finest milkshakes in Two Point County. At the Oily Cormorant, they'll serve you a traditional malt in an old leather boot and throw in a salt and vinegar egg. You just cannot beat it. Milkshakes are a great tradition. They're in our blood. In fact, I once received medical attention after enjoying a few dozen shakes and was told that my blood was over 60% ice cream. How <laughs> we laughed. <sighs> Pencils down. Only kidding. New from Smell My Cash. <laughs> Being a student is hard enough. Hey. 
<laughs> the least we could do is give you loads of money. Smell my cash for students. Sure, you have to pay it back, but that's future use problem. <laughs> Radio. I'm a huge fan of Yeti cuisine. Yes, our neighbors to the north really know their way around a kitchen. From stews and pickles to five-tiered sandwiches and, of course, their pies. Cold hands make the boldest pastry, after all, and it is freezing up there. You really must try it. It's the food of the people, and those people are Yetis. Janitor required in bathroom.
advancement. The campus just got bigger, not necessarily better. I was famished when I arrived at the Royal Tumble Hotel. So much so that I took advantage of my kitchenette and feasted greedily on some toast. When I returned from a walk, I was stunned to find that all crumbage had been decrumbled. The bed was made and the toilet spotless. Every sight. had been washed away. You've got to ask yourself, had I really been staying here? Indeed, do I... at all. Lovely stuff. Now taking students for Space Night School.
is now live. was all about regional delights and cultural differences. One man's casual vol is another's world-shattering epiphany. The people of Smogly have been crusting and dusting their fish for as long as anyone can remember. But at the recently opened What's the Batter, they use a unique cheesy gubbin crumb. Ho oh, ho ho ho! I can safely say that it was the cheesiest fish this DJ had ever eaten. <laughs> That's a winner. Janitor needed to unblock toilets. Lovely. <laughs> Students are asked not to ask questions. Weather report. It's raining space rocks.
janitor needed to unlock toilets. Lovely. you enjoyed today's show as much as I enjoyed my trip around this wonderful, mysterious county of ours. But for now, all of this talk about food has made me hungry. So I'm off to the fridge to take out the first thing I find and cover it in mayonnaise. Until next time, I've been Ricky Hawthorne. Cheers! Janitor required in bathroom.
Students with pastoral issues should go to student support. Janitor needed to unblock toilets. Lovely. You're a... Uh, you're... <clears throat> sorry. You're listening to Campus Radio. I'm Maggie Watmore, and I didn't realise I was hosting today's show. Five minutes ago. It's okay. I'm sure we'll be fine. I haven't done a show without... Oh, I've before, but that doesn't bother me at all. Convention starting now. Good for them.
Fighter needed in battle space. This next story is about a shed, apparently. That's all I've got. Here to tell us more is Hugh. That's right, the groundskeeper's shed appears to have moved some two to three meters overnight. Of course, as an inanimate object, the sudden move has come as somewhat of a shock. One member of the custodial staff described the event as probably the strangest thing to happen in the greater Flemington area. Leading theories range from haunted wood to tectonic shifting, but one fraternity is claiming responsibility for the anomaly. Their spokesperson saying, we just moved it, it wasn't that heavy, we can move it back if you like. Maggie Baxi. Janitor required in bathroom. Students are reminded that you don't have to ask to go to the toilet.
bathroom. Should you study with a friend, or should you ignore them at all costs? We've all asked that question. Here's Wanda with the answer. Last week, I advised you to try studying in pairs, and it seemed like a good idea. Turn time with a book into time with a friend. A no-brainer, right? Wrong, I'm afraid. My roommate made up a mnemonic device for something on my course, but it was so effective that I can't remember what it stands for. All I have left is decorate my... ...Manders Knightley. And what's that? Sorry, Jesse. Back to studying alone. Shame. Announcement. Now I've forgotten. Starting now. I don't know. Where do I start? D. I've been feeling a bit lost, you know. Orb. I could really do with a sense of purpose. Foundation. Who needs purpose when you've got the orb?
Janitor needed to unblock toilets. Lovely. That's it from us at Campus Radio. Though my day isn't entirely over, I'm heading to the library to finish and start an essay, and I may be there all night. But I'll be back tomorrow morning for another show. Hopefully I don't fall asleep in the archive section again. Wish me luck. Starting now. Good for them. Oh, no. 
announcement. Intruders on campus, oh no. Enjoy your summer. I know I will. Sir Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. Greetings, greetings, and welcome to the show. We all have our passion projects, don't we? Our dreams, our hobbies, our oddly job-like hobbies and odd jobbies. Personally, I moonlight as a writer of mysteries. Up next, I'll be taking you to a black and white world of mystery and intrigue. The much-anticipated return of Inspector Blanbury in Pinch Puddings and Just Desserts.
science lab should stand back at all times. It was a summery kind of summer, and Blanbury had scarcely caught his breath, fresh after outsmarting the smoggly cat burglar when an invitation to tea dove inauspiciously through his letterbox. Such are the demands on a world-class detective and conversationalist. No rest for a world-class detective and conversationalist. Arriving at Flackley House, our inspector was met with two familiar smells. One promised scones, the other calamity. Healthy body, healthy mind. I came up with that. Students are reminded that you don't have to ask to go to the toilet. And so to tea, where the sandwiches came and went without the intervention of evil, though Blambury feared the host had been a little overzealous with the cucumber, <clears throat> when, quite of a sudden, the lights went out. <coughs> oh, sorry, I'm always doing that. The light came up, and Blambury began to doubt himself. Perhaps what he felt was nothing but a herring of red. Alas. <coughs>
new students should make a good first impression. No pressure. Hi, I'm Jumbo McNally, and at Jumbo University, every instructor is handpicked by someone that was handpicked by someone that I handpicked. That's the Jumbo Touch. Jumbo University, be your biggest self. Sci-Fi convention starting now. Good for them. Students eating rubbish are reminded that you are what you eat.
is technically, but not socially, optional. We interrupt our mystery for the news. Hogsport Lighthouse gone missing. Student strikes cause university closure. And Mayor threatens to triple taxes. Lovely. Now that's done, we can return to the matter at hand. Will Inspector Blanbury crack the case? What would you like to know? Rubbish should be placed in bins. Is that too complicated for you? Your finger is not a toothbrush. But who would do such a thing? Who would stoop to the lowly heights populated only by reprobates and trifle thieves? To the kitchen! Indeed, the trifle was gone without so much as a trace. However, in its place was a single white glove. <gasps> Why, a glove? The fiend must have removed it in the excitement. What good is a glove, dear Blenbury? A glove is no pudding. Ah, but it may yet lead us to pudding. Fetch the hounds. Ah! 